This is a brand new cartridge from Browning and Winchester that they're calling the 6.8 Western. And like the name implies, they're touting this as an ultimate Western big game hunting round. So now you're probably thinking, oh great, here comes another super fast, super hot cartridge that is absolutely no fun to shoot at all. Well, that's actually not what we have here. Browning and Winchester are basically like working off the concept that if you take a sleek, heavy bullet and fire it at a reasonable muzzle velocity, you're actually going to get as good or better downrange performance as if you take a super fast bullet that is less aerodynamic. And of course you get way less recoil with this, it's just more efficient. So this cartridge here is loaded with a 165 grain Acubon long range bullet. Uh, it has a diameter of 0.277 inches, which is the exact same as the 270 Winchester. So now you're probably wondering, well, how is this any different than a 270 Winchester short mag? Which is a great question because that's the parent case for this new cartridge. And the answer is, it's back to those heavy sleek bullets. What they've done here is they've basically lowered the shoulder of the case to allow for a longer bullet. Um, so like I said, this is a 165 grainer, uh, but Browning is actually loading a 175 grain Sierra tipped Game King bullet for this cartridge. The muzzle velocity here is 2,970 feet per second. So again, um, not super fast, but the payoff is that you get a very shootable platform. They're, they're saying, um, you know, that there's much less recoil than a 300 wind mag. Um, they're kind of comparing it to a seven millimeter rem mag. Both Browning and Winchester are uh, making rifles chambered in the new 6.8 Western. Um, this rifle here is the Browning X-Bolt Western Hunter. Um, all scoped up, it weighs about seven and a half pounds, which I think is just about perfect. Um, and that was one of their goals with the new cartridge is to get, you know, basically what they're saying is magnum cartridge performance out of a short action platform. So, you know, lighter, more maneuverable, nicer to carry around in the field. So one of our contributors, one of our main contributors, uh, Tyler Friel and I both got to hunt with um, the new 6.8 Western this fall. I hunted with these 165 grain Acubons. Uh, he was hunting with the 175 grain Sierras. I took this platform, this rig up to Alaska, um, Southeast Alaska on a black tailed deer hunt and I killed a nice little black tailed buck up there. Um, it, was a, it was a hard quartering away shot at about 200 yards and I got a, a pass through on the deer. Uh, he went maybe 100 yards downhill and we found him just a little ways down the mountain. Um, I also hunted with this during the Wisconsin deer season and killed a pretty nice buck um, up on the, um, the, you know, the family hunting property. And that shot was inside 100 yards. Um, yes. it, the bullet went in, entered just behind the buck's shoulder, uh, went through his offside shoulder, and then I actually found the bullet um, just inside the hide on, on the offside shoulder. Um, and you can see that bullet here, you know, it's mushroomed really nicely. Um, this is just what you want to see. And then Tyler killed the bull moose um, with those 175 grain Sierras and he got two pass throughs. And then he also put a slug right through the bull's shoulder um, and he was able to recover that bullet, um, which came apart a little bit, but he, um, he weighed it later uh, when he got home and it weighed 102 grains. So that's pretty good performance on a moose at relatively close range. You know, it was inside 100 yards. Um, you know, we're gonna get as close as possible no matter what cartridge we're shooting. Um, but we did have really great close range and kind of mid-range performance out of these bullets. Um, but, you know, Winchester and Browning are touting this as a long range um, as a long range cartridge. Um, so what are we talking accuracy wise? Um, Tyler, he zeroed his rifle at 200 yards and he was getting about the same accuracy as me. He was shooting about two inch groups or a little better than two inch groups. Um, you know, so what you want out of a big game hunting rifle sub MOA, uh, I do know that they're planning to load uh, more bullet options in this cartridge, including a match bullet. 
you know, so one of the cool things about this is if you wanted to kind of dabble in some long range shooting, you know, shooting steel out to 500 yards and beyond, this is definitely a cartridge you could do that with. But really the 6.8 Western is positioned as a big game hunting cartridge. You know, it's an exciting new intro from Browning and Winchester, and I've just had a blast shooting it this fall.